It was this guy, uh, he used to, you know, walk around with a dark cloud on top of him. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> A friend of mine said ALS, it stands for always losing something. And that's a good way to put it, because you are, you're constantly losing something. Except it seems like you don't get it back. He'd take his shirt off and he'd, you'd see the, the twitching underneath his skin all through his chest and shoulders and arms. And at that point it had started in the left and moved over to the right. and. Um, I just want to see if you have um, the list of uh, neurologists and my physical evaluation that I'm still working on that, but what I do really need is a neurologist who specializes in your problem, you know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. I'm not going to be the best for you. Mm -hmm. uh, during uh, the first, first six uh, months, uh, months I had uh, so much. Uh, I wanted to say I bought tons and tons of cards for everything I want to say to them. Uh, most instances of disease, 90% of it, does not have a clear genetic linkage. So most of it we call sporadic, appears in just one family member, but appears from causes not, not clearly from genetics, and uh, the causes of those instances remain unknown. Uh, we've been together what, 14 years, and, and, uh, and now it seems like we're getting into some more depth and strength and, and love. I think it brought us all closer together because we're kind of like both working together to try and figure this thing out, you know, trying to figure out what to do with this, this thing. <laughs> 140 years of uh, ALS's recognition as a disease, and we have absolutely, totally uh, nothing. In ALS, we're talking about a lot of things. We're talking about cell bodies in the brain. We're talking about a very unique projection that comes from that neuron, which is called the axon which is going and connecting to the spinal cord. From the spinal cord, you have the lower motor neurons that are projecting to the limbs that it has to innovate. It's not one simple system. It's not one organ like the heart that we know. This is where it's placed. This is what its function is. It's a complexity. One time, when, when I knew it, the artwork was together. The joy of being able to be his creative outlet and produce something on the canvas that came from our, both our creative sides. And it's really nice to see the fruit of our labors at the end, and how our ideas mesh together to make something so beautiful. This is where you first look for ALS. And see the indentation? That's because the muscles are gone. The doctors, nobody has any kind of answers, any kind of... There's nothing that can be done. I think the field has been explosive within the last 10 to 15 years. A lot of the genetics has become um, simpler because of the human genome. The whole biology of stem cells is something of the last 10 to 15 years. It's, it's really a whole area. So all those are tools and reagents for us to work with, and they certainly either were in very early stages or they didn't even exist. What do you want to do today? What can I do? Asking them felt like guy what he wants to do is uh, cool. I want you to want me. I need you to need me. I'd love you to love me. I'm begging for you to beg. Didn't I, didn't I, didn't I see you cry? Mm -hmm. 
One possibility now is the fact that through uh, discoveries made recently, we can reprogram adult stem, stem cells to become more embryonic and we can then make them develop these motor neurons from these skin, skin cells from patients. This is what we have been chosen to bear and that we have to just keep fighting. I wish you would have gotten another disease like cancer or something else that we could have had, maybe a fighting chance. With this here, uh... When there is no more left of me Than favorite photographs and memories I will greet the pale blue Yeah. 